A deadly event last night on the I-65 high-rise bridge. No one in recent memory recalls a car jumping the barrier, but people who drove up on last night's accident are haunted by what they saw. Traveling with his son on I-65 last night, at first John Mudridge spotted bits of tire tread on the road. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Seen something move, and uh, when I when I seen the movement, then I, I like focused in on it, you know, and and that's when I seen the child sitting in the in the road, and it, I mean I just couldn't believe it, and I. I, I mean, literally, I asked him, I said, is that a child sitting in the middle of the interstate? And he looked and he said, I believe it is. While waving and yelling at oncoming traffic to stop, Mudridge says he helped a woman wrap the child in a blanket. The child had ejected from this Ford Explorer, later pulled from the waters of the Mobile River Delta. The baby's aunt, Deborah Hartley, also thrown from the vehicle, did not survive. Marine police rescued the four people inside the Explorer when it plunged into the river, including the driver, Hartley's fiance, Arthur Lewis. You hope all the best for them. I mean, they've lost a loved one, and, you know, I mean, it's, it, it's something terrible. I mean, you know, it's hard for them to, it, you know, it's something that, you know, I surely won't forget it, and I wasn't even involved in it. Muttridge says he nearly got sick from what he witnessed. When he got home, he had to lie down. In the meantime, the family involved in the crash has taken on an attorney. Dean Waite says initial investigation reveals some sort of tire detread.